So Atlas had a previous version which was a single rod system and it's used for camcorders but you can also use it for gimbals as well. So what we're going to do is the same thing, we're going to slot it in. Take off this gimbal. <laughs> take off this rod system. Set that aside. All right, same thing. What you want to do is make sure you attach these two rods together. All right, same process. It's actually almost the same vest. It just has only one slot for the rod and it doesn't have as much padding because this was originally designed for camcorders. But for our use, we can still go ahead and use the gimbal with this one. Same great design. It holds all the weight towards your core and your hips so you won't get as tired. Now this system does not come with a D-Link, rather we've kind of jerry-rigged a little long Velcro here. What we're going to do is we're going to slide it into the top handle. Again, two-person job if you can, but if you cannot, you can do it with one. Slide that monitor off to the side there. All right, and there you have it. We'll turn on the gimbal here real quick, and we'll do a little test run. All right, here we go. Number one problem, as I just demonstrated, this rod is significantly longer. So when you go through doorways, you got to be careful. Now, the one thing I will say is that I'm not recording. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So once you've attached it to your gimbal, you're pretty much ready to go. Now the one thing to take note of is that this rod is significantly longer and you might not be able to clear doorways. So you're gonna have to make sure you duck down just a little bit. Now with a single rod system, I'm still able to lightly operate the gimbal. However, I'm not going to try to let go because I do feel a decent amount of weight still in my hands, but not as much. It's not horrible. It works. And same thing, you want to make sure you're a little careful with how you're handling your walks because there is the chance of it wobbling and bouncing up and down. But otherwise, it's not horrible. Now, both of these Atlas uh, rod support systems are great for the gimbal use and, of course, if you just want to go handheld with a DSLR. However, my recommendation is that you go for the dual rod system because with a single rod, what happens is, is you're forced to kind of pull it off to side to side and then it becomes a little off kilter with how it's being balanced with your back. And it will probably get a little tiring uh, for extended use. So if you're going to be shooting a, a whole lot with a three axis gimbal, I would say go ahead and get the dual rod system because that's going to give you probably the best results.